President, thank you for the invitation for these two important events. One, the opening of this road that uh, joins not only Uganda and Rwanda, but actually connects beyond the two countries to the rest and the wider East African region. The second being the invitation, Mr. President, you extended it to me. And in fact, my family to visit you, to visit Uganda, and to visit you. And as I will be joining you for these festive days, in fact, uh, these people of uh, protocol can't stop disappointing. If they had done their work properly, I should have been here with my wife and my children. But they are behind the following. Hopefully they will find us here before we conclude this and so that they can say hello to, to the people present here. Uh, but I think they were taking revenge because the protocol people know how much I don't follow their rules. <laughs> so I think they got this wrong deliberately. But in any case, um, back to the importance of this event and occasion, the road that exists is going to be modernized, expanded, and 
is going to serve the two countries and our people and those of East Africa better than the road has been doing in the past. It's therefore our responsibility, the two countries, first, as after the road has been done, to make sure that we use it, use the road to serve us and optimize that. The second, we should also be able to maintain it ourselves and make sure that it lasts and it continues to serve us very well. I'm sure we are not expecting that those, and I wish to thank the European Union for availing the resources to do the road. I'm sure we will not be going back to make sure that, to them, to make sure that they provide more funds to maintain it. I think we should take that responsibility as well and maintain the road. On the first part, for using the road properly, I think we today are setting the exam. We have used the road. That's why I'm here, coming from Rwanda, and using the road to visit Uganda. And uh, I'm sure the rest will follow. So the citizens of our two countries are having a good asset in this road which they should put to good use for our social and economic development. Once again, I thank the European Union for supporting us in this endeavor of developing our vital infrastructure. Mr. President, it's my pleasure to be here with you and to continue to join you so that we bring our two countries and our region together for continued